Hello and welcome to this tutorial in which I will show you how to establish a connection between the Nautilus remote app on the iPad and the Nautilus instrument. Both devices are communicating using the MIDI protocol with SysX messages. So there are two ways to connect them. One thing is to use USB MIDI and the second way is to use Bluetooth MIDI. One uh, thing that you should prepare on the Nautilus app is you should go to the global menu to the MIDI page and ensure that the MIDI channel is set to one and that SysX messages are enabled. Otherwise, the connection is not going to be working. But once you have done it, you can connect. And option number one is to use a USB cable. In this case, I have an iPad with the lightning connector. So I have um, the lightning to USB adapter. And then this is a printer like USB cable, which has an USB B port on the other side, which connects to the Nautilus. And we can connect this one to the iPad. And if everything is set up correctly, it will. Uh, uh, now we go. Um, it will connect automatically and we're good to go. So you can see. Wait. Yeah, you can see it's um, synchronizing. Everything that I do on either side is also happening on the other side. So that's good. And there's this connected button up here. And if you if you open it, you can see. So I need to use my right hand for reasons. Uh, if you open it, you can see that there is one device available, which is the Nautilus MIDI device that you connected on USB. And you can also disconnect here. Um, then it's like unplugging the cable. So everything that I do here has no effect anymore on, on the other side and vice versa. And once we go to this connection menu and we select the Nautilus, we will be uh, connected and in sync again. So let's disconnect this one. It takes a second and then it will show that there is no connection anymore. Second option is to use Bluetooth. Um, for this, you need to, <clears throat> to have um, some kind of Bluetooth dongle um, plugged in into the Nautilus um, MIDI ports. And um, I can definitely recommend the CME products, the WIDI products, uh, which have a very um, stable connection, a very high rate of data transmission. And um, they have a very nice form factor. They're very small, usually, depending on which product you choose. Um, so I have one of them connected as well. And you can um, go to the connection menu, say, show Bluetooth peripherals. And then it will see that there is a WIDI master available, but it's not connected to the iPad yet. So we can connect. And once it's connected, we have the MIDI device available and it's automatically connected. And um, yeah, we have the same situation like before. We can do parameter changes, uh, switch the presets, switch modes. So everything is now connected and stays in sync. Uh, what we can do now is to also connect the USB cable. that easy and um, then we are still running on the Bluetooth connection if we um, check this menu you can see that there are now two devices so there's the VD master the Bluetooth connection which is sorry come back which is connected and the Nautilus which is the USB connection which is has been identified as a valid device but it's not connected right now so we're running on Bluetooth now you can simply select the USB connection and um, get going. You can disconnect both. Then we are disconnected. Or you can again select the VD master as a Bluetooth device. This um, might be relevant if you have two Nautilus for reasons and you have both connected or you have, um, I don't know. So you're very flexible here and you can always see what's going on. If we are um, disconnecting the Bluetooth, if we are yeah, disconnecting the Bluetooth connection, then you can see that there is only the Nautilus left and you can select it and uh, yes, we're connected. So that's essentially it. Thanks for watching and enjoy the app. Bye bye.